And I got kind of nostalgic and really sad. And I started crying. And my tears hit the blanket and the smell of the desert rose up into my nostrils. The smell of the acatillo, the prickly pear, the crucifixion thorn, the stately saguaro, the red clay of the painted desert. And suddenly the East Village became the painted desert. And I felt like fucking George O'Keefe walking through the Grand Canyon of Fifth Avenue. And I started thinking, here I am, this young girl from Arizona, and all my dreams are coming true in New York. And then I looked around and I realized that no matter how far I'd come, that New York was just as barren, desolate, and arid as the Arizona desert itself. into my fabulous Soho loft and tossed the blanket over the back of the couch and I just sat there thinking for a minute about Andy and how disappointed I was for him that he couldn't be there to share it in my success, my summer of success, my superstar summer. And I hoped and prayed that my success would last longer than 15 minutes. And then I began to realize out of all the women Andy had immortalized, Nico, Edie Sedgwick, Candy Darling, Marilyn, they were all gone. That ironically enough, the one thing Andy left behind that still had resonance was sitting right before me, a conglomerate, my lunch, a bowl of Campbell's soup, and I felt Andy with me. And suddenly, I didn't feel so alone anymore. Cry. 